Hello again ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play World of Tanks. I am James Steiner bringing you the latest in tanking history. So I'm just going to jump right into my favorite tier, tier 5, but with my least favorite tank, the Leopard. Or Leopard. It's pronounced Leopard in English, but I believe in German they say Leopard. I am probably completely wrong with that, but let's just roll with it. The VK-16, I'll just refer to it as the VK-16 from now on. So, this is most likely going to be a Tier 7 match, seeing as the VK-16 is always put... Well, I miscalculated. This is going to be a Tier 8 match, but looks like we've got a wayward tier four underneath me and then i'm tier five their lowest is tier six this is not going to go well generally in this tank you try to scout out the targets and open them up for your tank destroyers and your heavies and possibly your artillery but the gw panther uh, i believe that is also yep it is a f oh it's a turreted gun so he should have a pretty good field of fire though not brilliant I just need to move up fast and spot enemies. If I can move up very far and then just hold position, my camouflage net will do the rest. It's usually a bad idea to come up here to the north, but generally most of our teams get flanked whenever we're on this side. So if I can keep this area covered, and ensure that nothing gets behind us we should be in the clear I will hold position and I will wait our team's moving up through the cliffs which is normal and they have spotted the enemy or I have spotted the enemy I'm not sure which but it looks like I've got I had a shot on him but it would have been a waste of ammunition looks like three of their heavies are moving up I'm not going to be able to penetrate that armor, so I'll just let him pass. It's T-32, which is an American tank. Now we just sit and wait and let the beating begin. We've got a couple shots up at the IS, which is good, and they have lost the Cromwell. And it looks like their heavies left themselves exposed to me. So I can try and get a shot off at their weak points. But he saw me, so I will now back off. Good thing they aren't as accurate as some of the other heavy tanks. But now I need a completely new position to make sure that their artillery don't get a shot off at me. So I will try and move around and get behind them again. And hopefully get a couple pens uh, but there's an FCM 50T which I do not know which faction that tank is in I generally don't look up very many of the other tiers and that tank shell sounded very very close I'm not going to look back and I got behind their eight I think it's an AT. Yep, an AT-8. I just need to stay behind him and ensure that I get a good shot off. I'm on reload. Okay, I'm doing damage. I just need to stay behind him and ensure that he doesn't run me over because this thing can and will run me over because its weight is higher than mine. And they stopped him dead in his tracks, meaning he is going to be dead meat. And, yep, he is now dead, making that one dead tank destroyer. Man, that T-44 was very, very smooth. He got away from that T-32, which is probably the best move he could have made. There was no way he was going to win against that. So now that their whole flank has fallen, I can move in and try and take out their artillery piece to ensure that it doesn't get a cheap shot off. It has been relatively useless this match, but so is our artillery, so... It's going to be a race to see whether the T-44 gets it or I get it. But since the, the T-44 does have a better gun than I do, he's most likely going to be the one to get it, unless he 
completely and utterly misses it. I just need to move up really, really fast and try and get a good shot off. He keeps missing, but it looks like someone from the front took him out. And that is the GG. That was an impressive match, I've got to say. I didn't really do very much. Got a couple good spots. Assisted in destroying and got only 29 hit points worth of damage. But I did unload quite a few rounds into him. So that is generally how my matches do not go with this tank. I usually get killed right away. But let's move on to some of the even more interesting tanks. The Panzerkampfwagen 4. Now this is a good medium tank. And it looks like we are going to be Germans versus Russians, which is not going to go well seeing as I am paired off against a KV-1. If I can manage to get behind them and keep out of range of their turret, I should be fine. But there's a lot of tier 6 and 7s out there, meaning I am going to be very, very susceptible to their high damage, high pen cannons. And on this map, not my favorite map that they've come out with, but it's got a pretty varied ecosystem, I'll give it that. Confrontation equals fun times. Yeah, it might be fun, but I'm not going to say anything. So I'm going to move up north, and hopefully someone else is up there with me. Panzer 4S. I can't wait to get to the Panzer 4S. That is, though I think that might be be an elite tank in that case I might have to spell money on it spend money on it my apologies so I'm gonna just move up fast and hit him hard thanks to the octane tank I should be able to move up a little bit faster than the other tanks but that means that I'm probably going to be the first one shot the Russians always went against Germany no argument there, my friend, but if we can outmaneuver him, there should not be a problem. I'm not going to tell him that. Let the negativity roll out and let the dice fall where they will. And it looks like I did not get here quite fast enough. And I am not exactly outfitted for a sniping roll, but I did get a spot on the KV-1S, and that should be enough for them to know that at least one of the heavies are moving up. And he's set up, so I don't have to worry about artillery. The only thing I have to worry about is that Su-100M1. That tank destroyer could probably one-shot me, and the regular Su-100 is over there. And lag is going to get me killed for some reason. I lost almost all my hit points. So I'm going to get out of here. That was very, very odd. I didn't even see what hit. I didn't even see what hit me. Regardless, I just need to continue to push on through. This KV-1S is still there. The Su-100 is still somewhere over here. So I'm not going to stick out all the way. KV-1S. The KV-1S can really take a beating. I'll stay behind the the tank destroyer. Hopefully he'll take the shot for me and then I can finish off whatever it is he doesn't kill. Because I am not in the condition to go brawling. I built this tank to be a brawler, but it can't exactly brawl with less than 10% of its hit points. And we got the IS here, which is not good, but he left himself exposed, and that Panzer is going to tear him to shreds. And I took out his track, now the Panzer can finish him off. Bingo! And I got another good shot off. I just need to make sure I don't expose myself for too long. That's another good shot, and he is dead. Though it looks like overall we're losing the team fight. Our whole south flank is gone. 
So we need to push and push hard, otherwise we are going to lose. They can probably take the flag and still wipe us out. And they are at the base. And there is, I don't think there's any way I'm going to get back there in time. The other IS is moving up from the city, meaning that the other forces, oh damn, that is going fast, meaning there's more than, there is way more than one guy over there. So there is no way we're going to reset. It is the GG, ladies and gentlemen. They've got a KV-1S guard in the area. Yep, there's no way we're pulling through this, and they have won. That was a really fast match, ladies and gentlemen, and kind of abysmal. I'll do one more with this tank, and then I will call it a day. Hey, pardon me. <clears throat> hmm, looks like it's going to be a tier 5 match, which is okay for this tank. I've got the right loadout. This map, it will work, but not that well. I need to move fast towards the south and then cut across to the beach and hit them. Looks like they've got a few AT2s, those will be tough to kill, but most of their other tank destroyers are relatively weak. The Su-85 is a tough son of a bitch, but if you manage to get behind him, he's not much of a threat. But the trick is moving up fast and actually getting behind him, because if you stay in front of him too long, you are going to be dead. So it looks like our team is going for a pretty... Scattered splits, still very tough to tell where everyone's going. Looks like most people are going to go right down the middle. A couple of them are going... So a couple of the tank destroyers are moving towards the beach. And uh, a couple of light tanks and tank destroyers are going to cover the ridge. Most of our heavy tanks are moving down the middle. Looks like one of them is AFK, which is not good. But I've managed to get to the beach and these guys haven't shown up yet, so now it's just time to hold this area. One of the tier threes is moving up as well. It's a medium tank, but it shouldn't be that much of a threat. The one thing I need to watch out for the Okay, looks like one of the tier three lights is just sitting there. And he is going to die. Now I just switch targets, and he's going to die as well. And now I can move up. Hopefully there's no tank destroyer waiting for me around that corner. Looks like one of the tank destroyers is about ready to be had. Looks like most of the tank destroyers decided to hold position, and one of the tank destroyers is right there. I hit him, but it didn't do any damage. I need to get another shot off. Good. Ricochet. Beautiful. Now I just need to get a couple more shots off. One more and he's dead. And save from the T-14. That was a very good shot on his part. But now we can move up even further. That, that medium tank just made a really bad mistake. A really bad mistake indeed. And he is dead. And now I can move up. There is still nothing in my line of sight. The, the T-14 is also moving up. Need to be relatively cautious on this hill. There might be a couple tank destroyers waiting on the hill. And there are. Looks like, well, there's the Wolverine. But I don't know where the other Panzer IVs are. Yep, the Wolverine has almost got me in his sights. But I am safe. Looks like he's moving, so his gun's going to be very inaccurate. I can get a shot off, and I miss. Damn it. Now he's going to try and get a shot off as well. I managed to hit him, 
I just need to get another shot off. I managed to track him. Now, I just need to get... And he is dead. Another Panzer is... Oh, dead. Even with the lag, he is still dead. And it looks like I found that Russian tank destroyer. Nope, that's one of the ATs. This is going to get very, very sticky very quickly. There's no way I'm going to be able to get through his armor at this angle. And there's no way I'm going to be able to move with this terrible ping. I'm going to wait for him to fire again. And now I move. Hopefully he does not manage to get a shot off at me. I just need to keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep his sights on me, and I am dead. Did he move enough? Nope, he did not move nearly enough. But one of our guys is trying to take pot shots at the turret from behind. We are going to win this. All that's left are the AT-2s, and they are not the most maneuverable of, of tank destroyers. But they are tough, which is the one thing going for them. And overall, I think that's going to be a victory. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you next time.